What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is a RAM upgrade. So I have the HP A250N and currently it had, well before it had 2 gigabytes of RAM and then I'm going to upgrade it to the maximum amount, 4 gigabytes of RAM, although it is unbuffered memory so Windows XP won't be able to take the full 4 gigs, it'll take a little bit uh, over 3 gigabytes. All right. Even though Windows XP was supposed to take uh, like three gigabytes, it was able to go over a little bit. But you know, if I were to put Windows Seven or Windows Vista uh, on this PC, then it'll recognize the four gigs, and then Windows Seven 32-bit, it'll say Windows uh, four gigabytes of RAM installed, but 3.62 usable or 2.93 usable for that Acer laptop. So either way, the four gigabytes will work. It just won't take the whole thing for Windows XP, but hey, whatever, you know, the extra uh, numbers for the RAM, well, hopefully it'll help it a little bit better to make it smoother. Well, I already have it installed, but yeah, you know, that the extra numbers would help. So, what are the RAM sticks I'm going to be using? I'm using the com computer bay the RAM stick here, and each of these packs came with one, I mean, two... RAM sticks which were one gigabyte each so I had two packs which gave me a, a total of four uh, RAM sticks so the amount of RAM together is four gigabytes now what are you going to need uh, for this uh, process well simple you're gonna need your hands because you're going to be uh, taking out the old RAM which is what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna stick the new RAM in there now the way the RAM slots, are, or the DIMM slots, I should say, uh, are positioned is kind of uh, very close to the socket where you normally put the video card in there, which is the AGP-8X slot. Uh, and if your video card is, is too long, and then it's blocking up the space for you to push down uh, on, the, uh, on the clips uh, on the side, and then you have to remove the video card so that way you'll be be able to push down the clips and then remove the RAM stick alright and so if you have to take out your video card then you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver in order to uh, take it out other than that if you don't need to you just need your hands and then uh, put the RAM sticks in there if you are attempting to do this uh, by yourself uh, please keep in mind that this video is uh, made only for informational purposes only therefore I am not responsible for any damages that you might have done to your computer or your product uh, therefore it's all on you let's begin alright so the first thing I'm gonna do to start this process is I'm gonna unscrew these right here so I can open up the side panel simple enough and then I'm just gonna lift it which reveals the inside of the computer all right, so what you see here are all these RAM sticks right here, which I'm going to take out and then replace. All these RAMs are 512 megabytes of RAM, and I'm going to replace it with four one gigabyte RAM sticks. I'm not sure if I'm in shot here. Oh, no, I'm definitely not in shot. Uh, but these are all four RAM sticks right here, and, uh, and they're all one gigabyte each. So in order to do this, you see these pull tabs right here? Got one right here, and then got another one right here, which is covering up by the cave, by this cable right here. But you're basically going to pull those out, and then you're going to pull the RAM out. So I will do that right now. And if your video card is too long, and then it ends up over here, you won't be able to pull these out. So you would have to you know, remove you know, your video card or whatever card that's plugged into the first slot and just uh, remove that temporary so that way you can pull these out in order to unlock the RAM and then remove them okay so as you can see all of these right here and here are pulled out and now what I'm gonna do is just pull the RAM out and you want to do it gently so you don't break anything and then just put them away in a safe spot. Now this motherboard 
HP recommends that you only put two gigabytes of RAM in there, but it can go up to four gigabytes. Those are just unbuffered memory. And notice the different color labels right here. This is supposed to correspond with each other. So the blue and the blue go together and then the black and the black go together. Uh, that's just so, so they can read properly. In, in case if you got like a different brand here, here, and then you got a different brand here, here, so they'll correspond to each other. But this time it's not gonna make a big difference. It doesn't even make a big difference that you have a different brand or anything. I don't know, they're just color coded. All right, so there's my new RAM stick there, and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna stick it into the furthest one because it's gonna be harder to do. And you wanna line it up with this hole here, and then the other hole on the other side. The RAM upgrade is very easy to upgrade. You just gotta put some force into it, so that way it'll click in. All right, and then I'm gonna open up my other RAM here. Okay, then I'm gonna stick it in here again. Excuse any squeaking noise that's coming from my chair. So I'm gonna... And I got one more stick in there. And we are in. And then you're just gonna go to the process of putting back your side panel. And then you're just gonna put it all together and then you're just gonna screw it back on or just you know, rotate these to secure it back on. And that is it. All right guys, so the computer is hooked up to my TV right here. This is actually what I'm using as my main monitor for you know, the HP A250N. Now what I'm gonna do is turn it on and I'm just gonna plug the power cord in. And I'm gonna get into the BIOS first, just to make sure that the four gigs of RAM is recognized in there. I don't understand what's going on with this computer, but once you plug it in, into the outlet, then it automatically turns on, which is not right. The e-machine didn't do that. All right, as you can see right here where it says memory bank 0123, it says 1024 megabytes DDR SD RAM. So that's the amount of RAM that's in each slot right now. And as you can see, they're all one gigabytes each, oh, which means we got a total of four gigabytes. So now I'm gonna exit and then let it boot into the operating system. Now I got two operating systems on this computer right here. I got Windows XP and Windows Vista. So I'm gonna boot into each one just to make sure the RAM is recognized. and. Windows Vista should recognize the four gigabytes of RAM even though it's unbuffered. But Windows XP is supposed to recognize up to three gigabytes of RAM because that's the only a maximum amount of RAM it can recognize up to. Well, in this case with the 32-bit version. I don't know if there's a 64-bit for Windows XP. I don't believe so. I believe the lowest was 16-bit. But, you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and check it just to make sure three gigabytes of RAM is recognized in Windows XP which I have Windows XP Professional. This is Windows Vista Home Premium 32-bit. And the same goes for Windows 7. If this was running Windows 7, it's pretty much the same process. Also keep in mind, since we just installed new hardware on here, the motherboard uh, that's in there, well actually, I should say this, let me rephrase that. When you install new hardware in there, it's gonna take the operating system some time to recognize uh, the new hardware 
Uh, so you just have to give it some time to recognize and it is going to be a little bit slower but eventually it'll wear out and then start going into normal speed again. Alright, so we are automatically in Windows Vista right now, so what I'm going to do is go to the Start menu, and this same process applies for Windows 7 as well as Windows XP. I believe Windows 8, well I don't know about Windows 8, Windows 8 is different, because you don't normally have the Start menu here unless you download something. So we're going to go to Properties here, and... There it is, we now have 4 gigabytes of RAM in there. Now what I'm going to do is log out or, or restart the computer so I can go into Windows XP and then we'll see if it detects at least 3 gigabytes of RAM. Alright so here we are in Windows XP Professional and I'm going to hit the start button, go to my computer and hit properties and it should be at least 3 gigabytes of RAM in there. So it says 3.37 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure why it says that. Uh, I thought it would only say 3 gigabytes. Maybe that just tells you the amount of RAM it can take. And then the extra point sixty some gigabytes or whatever it is that, that is, uh, is not available for Windows XP. But as you saw, Windows Vista took the whole 4 gigabytes of RAM. As you can see, putting in the RAM sticks in a desktop PC is uh, also very simple. You just got to uh, try to work your way around without uh, having to unplug all these connections that you got uh, plugged into your motherboard. Uh, you know, it's just as easy as installing the RAM on the laptop, uh, except you're dealing with much bigger RAM versus a smaller RAM for the laptop. Uh, and you're dealing with more space and more components uh, plugged into the motherboard since um, everything uh, is in a bigger shell, but uh, they're like packedly close together. Alright, so if you guys any have any questions, go ahead and leave your comments down below and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.